Why is Chase Bank banning international wire transfers and limiting cash withdrawals? Chase Bank has moved to limit cash withdrawals while banning business customers from sending international wire transfers from November 17th onwards, prompting speculation that the bank is preparing for a looming financial crisis in the United States. Numerous business customers with Chase Business Select Checking and Chase Business Classic accounts have received letters over the past week informing them that cash activity, both deposits and withdrawals, will be limited to a $50,000 total per statement cycle from November 17th onwards. The letter reads, Dear business customer, starting November 17, 2013, you will no longer be able to send international wire transfers. You will still be able to send domestic wires and receive both domestic and international wires. We'll cancel any international wire transfers, including recurring ones you scheduled to be sent after this date. Your cash activity limit for these accounts will be $50,000 per statement cycle per account. Cash activity is the combined total of cash deposits made at branches, night drops and ATMs and cash withdrawals made at branches including purchases of money orders and ATMs. These changes will help us more effectively manage the risks involved with these types of transactions. Another letter which you can read in the InfoWars article, received by Peak to Peak Charter School, a college in Colorado, states that the option to send both international and domestic wire transfers has been withdrawn from Chase Business Savings account holders. And shortly after we posted this story, other Chase Business customers confirmed that they had also received similar or identical letters. In response to a respondent on Facebook who claimed, That's bull, I went to Chase and asked. Danny McBriar responds, I'm a Chase customer with both of the type accounts mentioned and got the letter posted. You best re-question whomever at the bank misled you. And then we have another respondent, Josh Sperry, who said, I have been a loyal customer of Chase for 11 years and I received the letter for my business, and when I called about this, I was basically told, piss off and find another bank. So now we've got a ton of comments from other Chase business customers confirming that they too are receiving these letters. And again, to make it clear, this is a $50,000 per statement limit. That's per month. It's not per day. And it's not only withdrawals, it's also deposits. So if you're a small business and your total deposits and withdrawals over the course of a month amount to more than $50,000, then you're going to have a problem. That's not an individual, that's for an entire business. Many small businesses will turn over, will deposit and withdraw more than $50,000 a month. So Chase is obviously very keen to make it hard for their customers to have any kind of control over their savings and is trying to limit the amount of dollars being sent abroad by banning international wire transfers. The move to limit deposits and withdrawals while banning international wire transfers is a bizarre policy and will cripple many small and medium-sized businesses with Chase accounts. Buying stock from abroad in any kind of quantity will now become impossible for many companies, while paying employees will also be a headache. Here's another example of a customer receiving the same letter. You'll notice there they've used the Iraqi dinar to cover up their address and account details, maybe because the US dollar will soon be worth a similar amount. But why has Chase announced such a ludicrous and restrictive policy change, and is it related to the potential for a US debt default or a wider US economic crisis. Speculation is rife that the bank is preparing for some kind of economic crisis by locking down its customers' money. Although most still expect a deal to be struck to prevent a US debt default, and indeed that appears to be the, what's happening in the news today, its impact would, quote, shake financial markets to a degree not seen since the Great Depression, according to experts. 
Others fear the move to restrict international wire transfers is part of a plan to protect against a near future collapse of the US dollar. Or as we saw in Cyprus, they could be preparing to do a bail-in by gouging Americans of money from their savings accounts, just as they did in Cyprus. So whatever the truth behind the policy change, Chase really needs to publicly explain its reasoning in order to quell the speculation. They need to come out and clarify this. There's basically nothing on their website that does so. And now that this story is out there, they really need to come out and make a statement. The bank's reputation was already under scrutiny after an incident earlier this year where millions of Chase Bank customers across the country attempted to withdraw cash from ATMs only to see that their account balance had been reduced to zero. The problem, which Chase attributed to a technical glitch, lasted for hours before it was fixed, prompting panic from some customers. Earlier this month, it was also reported that two of the biggest banks in America were stuffing their ATMs with 20 to 30% more cash than usual in order to head off a potential bank run if the US defaults on its debt. So what do you think? Are you a Chase business customer who has been affected by this seemingly draconian and restrictive change of policy that restricts account activity to just $50,000 per month? That's including withdrawals and deposits, which for a small or medium-sized business, I mean, most of them are going to go over that. Other people have said that Chase is doing this to bring itself into line with money laundering regulations. But still, $50,000 a month restriction for a business account. I mean, a, a small business could have five, ten employees. They have to pay them every month. That's already, you know, $20,000 on its own. Then you've got the buying of stock, paying of bills. Most small businesses with ten employees, the vast majority of them, are going to go over that $50,000 a month threshold. So, is that really to prevent money laundering? It seems an awfully low figure. And then, of course, you've got the ban on international wire transfers. That would prevent businesses from buying stock from abroad. That's a ridiculously restrictive policy. And it's going to cause massive problems for a lot of small, medium businesses, large businesses in the United States. So why is Chase Bank restricting cash activity to $50,000 for business customers and banning withdrawing international wire transfers. We need clarification. We need some kind of context and clarity from Chase Bank. It's not been forthcoming so far. Let me know if you're a Chase business customer or if you've seen this similar kind of policy change at your bank, if it's a different bank, in the comments below. We'll continue to track this breaking story. This is Paul Joseph Watson reporting for Infowars.com.